Hi girls and crafty girls, journaly girls. It's Lisa here with part three of what we're doing with all our magazine stuff. What to do with magazine covers, how to embellish journal pages and how to make a journal just by using <coughs> pictures and words out of magazines. Been watching a few more, so it's basically the same concept. But what I'm finding for myself is that if I'm making a journal page, I want to be able to have space to write on it, or at least enough white space to write around it. And I'm finding that, uh, you know, each to his own. I'm not about a lot of tuck spots, but I like the envelopes and I like the pockets and things. But anyway, so this is just about simple journal pages and simple journal books if you want to uh, design the covers, make the covers, make the book, and put the... the the uh, signatures in them and just having your basic pages um, calling them journal prompt books I guess or journal prompt journals I'm not sure if there's a name and you can do whatever you like or if this is just something for yourself this is just simple and <clears throat> it's more arty I think there's a word um, for if you're not a person who doodles or a person who sketches a, a drawer, an artist, a painter, or creative, or is just able to cut with scissors, use some glue to stick something on a page, and allowing yourself to just play with the things that you have in front of you, and the, trust yourself enough to just do it, and don't think about it, because today we're just going to be gluing the people. I hope that you collected the, from the other night, or you have a stash, go find it. I'll just sit here for a minute and look through mine. <clears throat> this stash is from the videos, uh, the second video about taking things out of magazines. Just the picture day. This is just picture day, it's not word day. There may, there may be some words in here, but I'm all about pictures today, so trimming them and gluing them in. So yes, it's probably going to be an hour, you might want to bring some water, it's ridiculous, ridiculous weather out today. Hot, hot, hot here. Everything's on fire. I'm in uh, BC in the Kootenays, so <clears throat> I'm sure everybody's affected by everything, and it's so awful. It's so sad. All the Facebook things that I've been watching, and everything's on fire, and it's just, it's awful. And I pray for all those animals in the wild, and domesticated animals, and all the people, babies, and all old people and everybody who's susceptible to all this smoke, just please be indoors, stay safe, hydrate, and just be safe. So, um, we'll put that all up to the universe, and uh, the universe will be able to take care of all those people. Anyways, so, <clears throat> again, so I hope that you're sitting in front of some pictures that you've just randomly grabbed. It doesn't matter. This is not about order. It's not about this project is not for type A personalities. Um, it's the meticulousness of the after part of, of doodling and putting extra things on that's for type A. This is for type B. Um, just put allowing yourself to not have control and just allowing the pictures to be glued onto paper. So the other thing you need here, of course, because I'm all about the clean paper. I mean, it's entirely up to you, whatever you want, but we're going to do clean paper because I believe everybody has some pop copy paper around the house, as well as some full scap. But in the old days, they used to call that full scap. I don't know what they call it now, but lined lined binder paper. Okay. Now, I'm, I prefer, and I'm lazy, so I don't do any different sizes. Well, I'm not going to, but I mean, I'll make them but <coughs> customized. If, I, if people want them that size, but my journals are the same size as a piece of paper because I am way too lazy. So I just fold, and then you have your, excuse me, copy paper. That's it. <clears throat> so I've grabbed a few pieces of copy paper and a few pieces of lined paper, and we are just going to glue. No rhyme or reason. Everybody fold your papers in half. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to have a drink of water. I was outside today in the smoke. And uh, my Dixie dog is barking at the um, um, 
What is that thing down there? She hates the washing machine down the hallway. So I really hope that my talking and this loudness doesn't have her in the background. And she will shut up soon, I promise. I don't want to yell at her. No point in yelling at dogs. They like to bark. Anywho, so again, I'm just, we're going to do, um, <clears throat> I'm going to do white pages first and then we'll go to lined pages. So I'm just going to leave my stack aligned, uh, pardon me, over, over there on my other stack. And I'm just going to set aside the white paper because this is where we have to cut out around things. I know it's, it's tedious. Fast forward. I will cut as fast as I can go. So uh, talk amongst yourselves. Listen to some music. Uh, take the next few minutes and just use a pair of scissors. Just a blank pair of scissors. And, <clears throat> excuse me, cut around your words. All we're looking for are pictures. For me, we can collage and cover over these pictures, but for me, I am just cutting out all the words that I see and trying to get the best picture I can possibly get. Like this rafting picture had a few pieces on it. <clears throat> excuse me. And I really kind of like that pink about, like I said, I know we're all dealing with different pictures, but there's something with that I liked. So I'm going to leave it like that. So yes, let's put together 10 pictures. Okay. Just grab 10, <coughs> excuse me, grab 10 random pictures and cut them out. Mm -hmm. Basic straight cut. So if you have pinking shears and you feel like doing pinking shears, alternating uh, the different cuts that you have by all means. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I feel like I've been smoking for a week and I quit 21 years ago already. Cold turkey. So it's uh, so this is what I'm gonna do. Cut around. I don't like round corners. I'm so lazy. I'm just not. <coughs> it's a left-handed thing. I'm pretty sure. And so, if it's not perfect, and this is the other thing, remember, we're scrapping with scrapbooks and used things, so uh, if I'm hollering, I apologize, I don't mean to. Um, we are going, um, like I said, don't. it's not about perfection, it's about enjoying, sitting down, enjoying yourself, pour yourself a glass of wine, coffee, whatever it is. I've already guzzled a bottle of water, so I'm good. And <clears throat> just sitting... In your quiet space, and thanks to my dog. Right now, she's being a pain in my rumpus. But um, the spinning cycle will happen soon. I'm going to cut that word out. Because, again, we're all about pictures right now. Don't even worry about words if they're there and you picked them because you liked it. That's great. <coughs> if you... Uh, like I said, if, if the reason you picked the picture, like this one, for instance, that I like the picture and the words, so I'm not going to cut them apart because they're already on one page together and somebody's put it together already, and I'm not going to... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. As the saying goes. All right. Do, 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 do. I still... Yep. Yeah. That's a whole page, so I'm going to leave that one, because that was that mining page, if you watch the other, that I uh, picked out the other, the mining page that I liked. And I'm going to take this welcome brick wall, and something a little bit more interesting would be nice. Hey. No. I seem to have all these long uh, top of the page pictures, which is fine by me. And like I said, just grab whatever. It doesn't matter how big or how small. Let's just grab them and. Ooh, yes. <clears throat> this is that ooh for art. Yummy. Some yummy art person put this together. Nice. These guys are oh for art's sakes where everyone comes together in one place. 
That's so fun. Although, you know, some people want to just be on their own, right? To, from It's that artist space if you're a person who does other crafts. But this is the same thing, right? You want your own space. Like, my husband should be home soon, and then it's like, no, don't come into my space. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. This is my time. I was out and about today, and I'm not being a grown-up. And uh, mom-in-law, thanks for her. She makes good pizzas. So we're having pizza for supper. I don't have to cook. And so I get to not be a grown-up, which is fine by me. Oh, there's that picture with the girls. I love that picture. And <clears throat> I'm going to cut the words off of this because I don't want them right now. It's not what we're talking about. So we're just going to I have another bag for my words, making sure that doesn't get to the recycle bag. And I'm going to cut this pink off because it has too many words. Well, you know what? Watch this. It's always like nice for a pop of color, right? But especially because these magazines that I've got right here are really um, not as colorful photos as I'd like them to be. But that is okay. I'm going to keep cutting as close as I can to the letter so I get as much of the beach and rock background maybe as I can. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to safely say I have 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to cut out this golf club one because speaking to me. Don't forget me. All right. Jooby dooby doo. Oh, neat. I like this. Uh, it is a golf quote I just read. Didn't even see it the other night when I was, because that wasn't what I was concentrating on when I saw the picture. Interestingly enough, there goes Lucky. He's the sharp one. What other people may find in poetry or art museums, I find in the flight of a good drive. Arnold Palmer, golfer. Love it. Okay, so. <coughs> and just tucking away, <coughs> getting all the pieces away from my space. Sorry for the mess. And I will set these aside, and we are going on our way to Glue Town. <clears throat> Oakley doakley. Sorry, I have to move that one full page that I'm going to just fold and put in there, because it's just so cute with a map. All right, so I said we were going to do ten. So I'm going to get five pieces of white paper. One, two, three. Actually, I'm going to get three pieces of white paper and two pieces of lined paper. That'll give us five. Two pictures on each side gives us ten. <clears throat> I'm not putting them together. I'm just putting the lined paper uh, to the back just because. All right, so I'm going to get just... Uh, my one piece of white paper, my trusty glue, let's start the front page, the first page, oh look at my folding, that's okay, this is not a perfect art, this is why I love it, and this is why we all love it, right, <coughs> who wants perfect anyways, so here's what we're going to do, I'm going to close my eyes, which I'm just doing right now, you see this pile, look. okay, just like you are, Close your eyes. Come on. Just I know it looks silly and feels silly, but go to your pile of ten pictures, roll it around like you're shuffling cards and cutting the deck. Now grab the first picture you just grab a picture. Alright, put the stack over there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got my glue stick in my hand. And I've got this piece. <clears throat> okay, what am I gonna do with this piece? Well, the basics are just stick it on, right? <clears throat> but when we have a big piece like this, you know what? I'm going to not do this one. I know you're going to be mad at me, but I'm just going to grab this one. One that just fits on the page right now. So if you get a bigger picture, put it back because I'll show you the couple things we can do with it. Um, 
it's like mind expansion. <laughs> but we're just starting with the basics. What do we have here? So I have for art six. What do I want to do with it? Where do I want it? What I have, I just want to glue it. I tend to like the bottom of the pages, but because this one feels like a, a better a top title to me, I'm going to say, okay, today you can have the top. Anyways, I just turn it over, hold things with my uh, fingers because I do it this way. Look, like, I don't have a space to put things down, and so I just roll and roll it. You girls do how you do, but this is how I do, and uh, that way I don't really get all that gluey. And it rolls a little bit, but we don't have our trusty bone things. What are they called? Bone folders. And just, well, pretend we're in kindergarten today. Do, 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 do. We can even make little sounds if we want. Or if you have some good music behind you, quietly playing in the background that makes you happy. Whoops. Okay. Epic fail on that one, but that's okay. It'll be there. Come on, we can do this. Okay, I missed a couple spots. That's okay. I love glue sticks. Glue sticks are my friend. I like white glue, but I use it for <clears throat> the liquid white glue because for uh, collaging. Because it's paintable and I love it. And it's messy when you don't have to really touch it. Glue sticks are my friend. I've done those uh, tape roller things. I don't know what they're called. But you know what? They run out so fast and they're three bucks a pop. I'm just too cheap. And this glue hasn't failed me yet at all. This cheap dollar store stuff, office works, Dollarama, wherever. Cheap, cheap. All about the cheap. All right, so that's as flat as it's going to be. And now we're going to open it up. Excuse my sniffling. And I'm going to grab this. So this one's going at the bottom. I want to be able to have this writing space. And there we go. Doodly -doo -doo -doo. It's just about having fun with your glue. Making friends with your paper and glue. And it's so mindless. There's there's no thinking. It doesn't matter if it's crooked. It doesn't matter if it's sh straight. It's about how, you know, if it goes a little crooked. Again, we're type B. We're not going to lose our poop over that. Right? Right. Then I have a little bit of white space over here and here and here. Not going to lose my poop over that because if I had a doodle pen later, I could put a doodles around it, right? Like, it's about the white space and freedom to. For me, I'm a writer, a doodler, uh, learning to water paint with uh, Marami, uh, uh, Marta. She gave me the love of water painting. Uh, the problem is. I bought the cheap, cheap stuff, and I don't like the feel of the grit of the paint when it's dry on the paper, so I have to get the proper proper paper, go to a proper store. We have one, but it's one of those type of things. If you're going to be serious about using your watercolors, get good brushes and good paints, or you're going to be disappointed. Uh, because what I don't like about watercolor is the fadedness of it, but you can find... You find good uh, watercolor paint and uh, good paper that it stays on, then it won't sit off the paper because um, the different textures of the watercolor paper. I bought the cheap, cheap stuff. Again, dollar store, cheap, cheap. Let's go to the next side. Don't be afraid. doesn't have to match. Just, just do. <clears throat> Excuse me. My pinking shares. And under the... I'm gonna actually I was gonna take the pinking shears to this, but I'm not now because I forgot that I have my nice little pink line, and the girls might want just to hang out and have their coffee. Guess what? I can do this too. Right? I can do whatever I want. We have four corners of the paper, and we can do it however you want. If you want to hang it upside down because you want to look at it different, that's the beauty of the freedom of the per, of what's the choice? Yeah, per, free choice. I guess that's what it's called. Sure. La 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 la. And they're getting a little bit wrinkly. And I guess that's something we all have to get over to because we're not dealing with the uh, 
the proper paper packages and we're dealing with old things and maybe that's what glue sticks do and you don't like it but you know what it's used and and I'm okay using white paper I feel I feel okay using my white paper for just uh, prompting journals and I like the white paper and I mix it I do do uh, do do there's a word haha <laughs> I do make coffee dyed paper and I have embellished the paper like I said you've seen it in uh, or you will see as the journals go by as we all embellish white paper so I do paper three different ways and I mix it in white paper with the coffee dyed paper with an embellished page on the side um, give me a second I'll show you now that I have just those three types that I've made this was because I was finishing up a I had ha already had signature pages done sorry this is an aside but I'm just gonna show you so <clears throat> now with this pretending that we were I know we have to go to the fourth page but this is what I would do this is how I this is the paper that I'm that I did I took the sauruses and just split the page in half, folded the page in half, trimmed it with my goofy scissors, and now I have waviness. The next one is a full coffee dyed piece of paper, and the next one is just embellished with that little uh, filigree thing that I don't like, so I'm giving it away to the donation place here. And then we have the plank inside, and then guess what? See? So now there's four different types of paper there or I could have went like this but the way I folded them actually I like it this way anyways but when I go to load the pages right these three are already like this I have stacked the papers already stacked so they're already folded into this well it just has to be inserted so that's what I do because I'm just I don't want to look at book plain white paper either um, so that'll it's a little bit of old and new recycled uh, because I'm feeling vindicated that I'm using, you know, the pictures that are from Recycle and and the books from Recycle and the covers. That's a whole, we'll do that after. I just wanted to show you that. Anyway, so moving, so here's my front inside because we can. And the back side, grab. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll go with the rafting one. And there you go. And we're just going to grab that. Mm. You know what? I realize I just said two. I can't do math. <laughs> ah. Yes, I realize I'm using more. I'm using four pictures per page because it's the way in which it opens. Now you can choose to not put. You can choose to put one on the front and one on the one on the center one in the back. It all depends. It's an after process. Um, if you just want to start putting one in the front and one in the back, you will know that when you open it, right, as your pages go, you will have that last page. To Lucky dog. Lucky shush. No. Train going by. And his shrill little bark. Lucky. Stop. Come sit with mom. Come on. Hurry. They they know that Gino's on his way home too, so Dixie can hear him a mile away. There's Lucky Dog. You can see his face. Probably not. Little monster mash. So there we go. We've got we've got four pictures. So set that aside. I mean you basically get the drift, but we're still gonna do a couple more pages. Okay, I grabbed a lined paper, so you know what? We're all capable of change. <laughs> and for me, I don't care which way this paper goes, so I'm just mine opens this way. Uh, it is what it is. So uh, let's get the next thing going. Well, for me, again, now because this is lined paper, I want to have room for writing. Um, so that's that's what I'm looking for. Uh, in when I when I do the lined pages. So 
Is there enough to put on this? No. So I'm going to go with the Yoga Girls. Right? And I tend to want to go out more into the center because this is in the spines, right? Uh, as the signatures get um, sewn in. So I prefer to be able to see. Lucky? Shh. Come sit. Come on. I'll rub your ears. Come on. Up, up. Come. Come. He's looking at me like, uh, no. All right. So, anyways. Moving on. Dogs have their own minds. Just as people. We know that. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty short video, but it was just a matter of, come on, girls, we can do this. Don't be shy. Sing and dance. There you go. So we're just going to close, open this, and let's see what it looks like. So it all depends. What do we want to do? Do we want to write? Do we want to add more things in the center of this thing? Well, maybe. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, well, we've got this welcome. Um, and I'm not, I'm only going to take a piece of this brick wall, uh, just so just bear with me again so we can just see the two part, two pager process. And I still like that welcome. Although I'm sure it would be better for a cover. Mm, you know what? I did say that lap when I cut it out too, didn't I? Yes. So what I'm going to do is just go. Okay, well, this has a bend in it for whatever reason. I guess it was in the book. So I'm going to trim it off. And uh, then I'll glue it down. It's quite faint, but I'm still... There's sun, there's sunshine on the picture, and that's why it's looking so faint to me, and I don't like that. So I'm just going to plant that right there over the Hillroy name of the, name of the paper company and glue. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. So. Oh, whoops, it's going this way. And I was covering over the hill, right? This is a problem I find with glue sticks. Um, you set it down and you're stuck for life. And especially with this really thin paper. And now this brick wall is going to have a little wrinkle in it, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, for right now, because we're not done yet. We are done with this. We will be done with this video, but these pages we're making, we are not finished yet. So keep those, your pic other pictures together, and keep your words out with the stuff that you cut out. Or find some words for the next day or two, probably day, I'm home tomorrow, and then we'll uh, go from there. Uh, eventually, I'll be able to stream my channel, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take, they told me 20, sorry, streaming channels with YouTube, they said it was going to take 24 hours, but, so, uh, but either way, I'm going to be still doing videos, alright, so, again, so now here's what it looks like when we put it together, and the reasons for why I like it, because when you open your page, right, you've got your blank, so I mean, you can add more artwork, doodles, things, stories, uh, the words, whatever you want on here. But then I open it up and go, it has to have some, this is what we want, right? It's to generate an idea. And this has nothing to do with this. Or if you're organizing, of course you can, I mean, this could be a golf retreat and you have a yoga going on and it reminds you of a time when, who knows, family holiday. I don't know. But yes, you have to turn... There's just something about lined paper I really like. As a writer, I loved it in high school. I love it. Um, but the type A-ness part of me, the A, I <laughs> just said A-ness, I know, haha. <laughs> type A personality part of me uh, in a journal wants to have lines, and I am not printing out lines. I am too cheap for ink. No and no. So anyways, just opening up and having interest enough to have something to talk about when you open the inside page. Um then flipping and you know you still have something to work with it's it's pretty 
as I said, not finished yet, but you get where we're going with this, right? So the next video, because I don't know what we're doing tonight, so I'm going to cut this one short. This was just about sit for your time, get your stack of pictures of all your cutout pictures that you've ever wanted to do or you know, you just want to get rid of a stack one night. Throw your headphones on or your music on and just sit with your paper, whatever paper you want. It doesn't have to be. For me, it's about white because I want the space. This is about making a journal that you can write in. I don't want to cover it with so many things. What was the point of that? There's no writing space. This is about uh, more creativeness journals for those that want to write or have no idea what day when they open it up, they just open it up to randomness. Um, it's not a structured, it's not structured. And so that's kind of how I roll. Um, that's what this was about, was just getting your pictures and getting them glued down to your paper. So if you come back, have have a, a, um, probably 10 pages, 5 pages, whatever. Your, your pages of lined, if that's what you choose, or just your white pages on two sides or on four sides but when you put them all together you think about what you want when you uh, you know do you want a picture on every side but when you open them up and you start putting your papers in it starts getting more and more blank so yes of course then I'm going to glue another one in there um, every third page leave a blank uh, page that kind of thing so um, just to take a look at what they look like and then they don't have to you don't have to put them together as a this isn't about putting them together in a story this is about random random putting things together uh, it's random so have some of those ready and the next thing we're going to do are is pardon me that I want you to get your stack of words uh, hello you know what I'm talking about right the words get your stack of words there you go don't be shy Just grab them put them there if they have pictures on them fine if they don't cut them away from that right this one's gonna stay with the word so I'm not gonna use that one or that one but what I'm saying you know what I'm saying just make a pile with your papers that you glued have that ready and that'll be my that'll be the our next video is having an adventure, getting those words glued on. All right. Anyways, thank you, everybody. Uh, this is Lisa Salvulo for Journals by Lisa, which is what my YouTube channel is called. And my Facebook page is Journals, pardon me, Junk Journals and More, Buy and Sell. Um, and I'm on I'm on Facebook, Lisa Kuka Salvulo, and that's where we are. So universal blessings to everybody. And uh, we'll catch up to you on the third video. Thanks. Bye.